No, do you think Mr McInnes is funnier than me? Yeah, Mr Davies does tell good jokes. Oh, maybe I need to improve my joke. Oh, sorry, you two. Oh, I didn't realise you were there. Panda and I were just catching up, weren't we? Anyway, just pop you over there, Panda, and we'll start our maths lesson. Okay, so we're on our fourth lesson on money, and we're going to start off with our number formation as always, and we have the number four again. Fantastic down and over, then some more. That's the way we make it a four. I'm going to have a practice and then you guys are going to do this on your whiteboards or on a piece of paper. Oh, that's my email. Better turn that off. Off you go and come back to me when you're finished. Excellent. Okay, so we've got a problem. A little starter to get our brains warmed up thinking about money again. Ron thinks he has 13 pounds. Is he correct? Explain your answer. Well, he has got three coins and he has got a £10 note. So we know that this £10 note, it is a £10 note, I've questioned myself there, um, is a group of 10. So pause the video now and have a little discussion. No, he's not correct, is he? Because each of these are worth two. So although he has got three coins, the value of them, what they're worth is actually more. So two, four, six. Um, so he's actually got 16 pounds, 16 pounds and not 13. So remembering that sometimes with coins, we're not looking at the amount of coins that we've got, but the value that each coin is worth. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at building um, amounts of money again, but we're going to be looking at this with it in a part, part, whole. So it's very similar to what we did the other day, but just thinking that we can do this within a bar model or a part, part, whole model, and we haven't used a part, part, whole model for a while, so I thought we'd come back to this. There's always different representations that you can use to help you um, work out things and help things make much more sense to you clearer to see. Okay, so we're making 30p with two parts, we're making 30p with three parts, and we're making 30p with four parts. So pause the video now, if you're in school, you can have explore with the pretend money. If you're at home, cut out some pictures and see how many different ways you can build 30p. Pause the video now and have a go at this and then we'll come back and see what I came up with. Okay, excellent. So I came up with this. I decided that you could build 30p with a 20p and a 10p. You could do it three ways with two fives that make 10 and then adding that onto a 20. Um, and then I decided that you could have two 10s which make 20 and two fives which make 10 and altogether they make 30. If you came up with those same ideas, then well done. And we're going to do the same with 40p. So see if you can have a go at drawing this on your whiteboards. 40p in two parts, 40p in three parts, and 40p in four parts. Pause now and have a go at this. Excellent. So you might have come up with the ones that I did. Two 20p coins can make 40p. We've got two 10p coins and a 20p can also make 40p. And you can have four groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, and that makes 40p. Excellent. Okay, so your task today is you've got to match the money to the correct total. So you've got some totals down here and you've got to draw, draw the line to the correct amount. And then also, I would like you to carry on with drawing part, part, whole models, but just sticking with the multiples of 10. If you really want to challenge yourself, then you could look at different amounts. So you could look at tens and ones, for example, 46p. So draw each one as a part, part, whole model and how many different ways, how many different parts can you split it into to build that number? If you also want to challenge yourself, then you can write calculations for each one. So for this one, I could write 20, add 20, is equal to 40. Um, and again, you could also write some calculations using the subtraction and see how many different ways you can write the calculations. Can't wait to see these all on Class Dojo. 
remember you've got this challenge to complete as well um, and I will see you tomorrow and Panda is going to say goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow for our last lesson on money. Bye!